Well, secure file transfer today, a lot of times has grown out of uh, older systems that people were using. It's what they had, it's the technology that they used. What that's meant in a lot of cases is that things have grown up as individual silos. So I have a server over here, I've got a server over there, I put together a web app over here. Um, I'm, oh, you know what, I'm going to use uh, Dropbox over there. So all these things become individual little pieces, each dealing with their own thing, but they're not centrally managed, it's not consistently uh, available and accessible to all of the users in all of the cases. So that gives me a lot of uh, big pain points because I've got uh, expense of you know three, four, five, six different systems. Um, because I don't have a consistent way of doing it, I can't ensure that users aren't going out and doing their own rogue things, uh, pulling up their own box uh, box.net uh, service or uh, using you send it and that's not uh, then I can't verify compliance I can't verify tracking I don't know what they sent I can't track anything that way so what I end up with is a, is a, a jumble an ad uh, kind of a, an ad hoc type system that got put together with a lot of different pieces that aren't cohesively put together um, that lack of consistency essentially then raises my bar for acceptance for the user population which leads them to go rogue and makes it difficult for me to be able to maintain a single cohesive trackable compliant system for uh, moving files around. Today to drive value for file transfer you really still need to focus on the ease of use. You need to lower the barrier of adoption so that people don't go off and go rogue. There's a reason people go off and do their own thing. It's because email, uh, they might be sending files via email, or they might be needing to send them via some other client. They need to be able to send files the way they need to send files. You can't expect someone to change how they're doing their work and expect uh, to, to get a, a good system and actually expect adoption. If you, they have to change what they're doing, they're going to work around the system to keep doing what they're doing now. So. What you need to do is have a system that will follow their natural workflow and allow them multiple points of entry into a single system. That way, from an administrative standpoint, I have one place to go and look for users. I have one place to go and look for accounts. One place to go look for auditing, management, and, con uh, and consolidation. So I can enforce compliance and know that I'm compliant because everybody's going through the same system, because everybody is able to do the work the way they need to. So if somebody needs to send the file via email, it still goes through the same system. If they need to send it through a big client so that it's a you know multi gigabyte file, then they can do it through one system. That way I have ease of use for the users so they can do what they need to do, which then makes me easy to use for the administrators and provides me with a compliant single system for everybody.